Ahí está. Stinger. Oh, oh, <laughs> All right, it's time for service on this thing. And first thing to do is, you see, it's like, <laughs> you can't hold it like this. You have to hold it in a special place. Alright, so I did a short test run and the idle is a little bit too high. I think it ticks a little bit too much. I think the play is a bit too much there in, at the valves. I don't know what this is. I think it should go... I don't know about this. I think it should go to off position also, but it kind of gets stuck. But yeah, there is a screw here, so... Mm, I'll have to ask about that. Um... What else? Yeah, the front lights, they don't turn on at all. The rear lights do. And uh, that neutral switch, I'm gonna see if I can do some adjustments there. But otherwise it runs really well. And uh, according to the owner, this has not been serviced for 20 years. So he got it and then he has been using it just fill it up with fuel <laughs> but these are the original tires i believe so or maybe he did change some time yeah but i think it's the original So I uh, I gave these two rear ones some manual love and then hopefully trying to do this. still oil in there so that's a good sign <laughs> the front and rear differential is quite easy to fill because you just fill up until it uh, pours over here and uh, it's uh, this is what I use here Whoa. Yeah. Uh, extra gravity here. <laughs> Mosquitoes in my face. I don't want to have the level too low, but I think it, yeah, it's, yeah, it's it is full now.
oil and rubber is might not be a good mix. But it depends on the rubber, of course. And there's two in the back there. Here at the rear, I had to remove this bolt and then one over there to get away get this uh protection away and now <laughs> where's the plug then mm -hmm. yeah i think this is the one yep could be uh, like an allen screw or something like that i don't know Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> that oil looks really good actually. Here it should be like at the lower level level of these threads here. So uh, I have to move this camera a bit. Oh. So I I did I put a little bit too much in there, but since this is like a straw, so I can actually get up oil from in here and so I, I did overfill it and then just just squeeze the bottle and Correct level. Well, there is uh, one screw here, and then one at the front like here mm -hmm. so let's uh, get that uh, engine oil out of there too oh. <laughs> so this one has been here for 20 years it's really on here uh i might need some other tools before i ruin this completely apparently it's quite common for these uh oil plugs to to stick and uh they 
preferred method was to use uh, some kind of chisel and a hammer of some sort. Let's see how how should this be done. Righty, I just we should something like this maybe. Then I'm going to frame a support here. Yeah, I think that would be good. First, I will make a mark here, and then I can angle it a little bit more. Ah, that's my hand. I don't know, is it moving? Maybe it is. Ha! Oh shit. <laughs> uh, I can see it is moving. That's good. Now it's just a question of Time, I think <laughs> there's mosquitoes here they're biting me <laughs> yes all right <sighs> huh Oh, Jesus. Oh, almost full here. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, God. What a mess. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. I even lost my shoe here. Oh. I didn't think it was so much oil in there. Let's have a look at the air filter now. Oil was not the best.
too bad. But no, that's it. Just sits here like that. All right. Oh. I wonder. Yeah. All right. And you see the old filter is it's getting. This filter here is getting really bad, you see. It's like the foam is coming apart, so we need to change it. I'm, ju I'm just checking the size now. I'm going to oil it to Yeah, I think this is it is right. It is the correct one. Needs a little bit of oil to on there <clears throat> Right, so <clears throat> we shouldn't start it for uh, f until four hours from now. So the oil need to be a little bit more thick, but it can can be in here. I'm trying to solve the issue with the neutral light and as these two wires on the right side of the engine here that go inside the clutch cover they go to that neutral switch and uh, I don't have a new switch no new gasket stuff like that so I guess they'll have to live with uh, that neutral switch being a little bit hard to get um, 
to stay on but um, yeah if if you were to replace it you'd have to remove this uh, right side cover and um, from what I understand it's underneath this clutch here and um, or maybe the clutch is here I haven't opened these ones but it's in here and you need to remove the clutch and then you can access the neutral switch some of them have it on the other side so if you don't find it there look for these uh, wires going inside here and then you know it's in there the oil filter is down here on the right side No spill. Amazing. Here is how that uh, oil drain plug goes back and I, I've cleaned this strainer here and I will reuse this plug and I hope there's no leakage but otherwise it's uh, quite easy to change it. <clears throat> A mental note to myself, I need more uh, spark plug sockets i have the 16 and the 21 but this one which seems to be common on japanese machines i don't have this is just uh this is like an emergency tool that i found in the honda toolbox The DR8 EA and this one is DPR8 EA. So they look a little bit different. Oh, I'm gonna have to check, double check specifications. All right, so that this P here, DPR, means that the tip is a little bit further down into the combustion chamber which is actually not what's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be D, D8EA. And I think this R is just a resistor spark plug. So I'm guessing the new one is more correct. It's supposed to be three liters of oil here or about three liters. But there is a, yeah. You can see here there's a measurement stick here, an oil stick. And this is, um, mm -hmm. it's four liters in this one. Almost all of it. Whoops. Good thing we had a little bit of extra because I seem to uh, have some extra gravity on this floor here today. Everything is spilled out or dropped or I don't know. It's just one of those days. Maybe because it's 25 degrees Celsius and there's mosquitoes and it's a bit late. I'm going to have a look at these lights and uh, 
because they don't turn on and I think it's just the light bulbs. That's where I'm gonna start. <laughs> yeah, I do believe these are goners. Just to make sure, I'll um, turn on the lights and see if there is uh, power here. They look very special, these ones. I think it says 2Y9 here. I checked and the, the socket is called PX15D. A bit special. I have changed the front differential oil, the engine oil, the oil filter, the spark plug, the um, air filter and the rear differential oil. What is left to do is those light bulbs in up front and if the owner wants to uh, change also that um, neutral switch but uh, I'm gonna clean up any oil residues take this for a ride and check for oil leaks Ah, right. Well, <laughs> with the new oil in here, I, yeah, okay, now, right, now, weird. All of a sudden, like one second ago, I could not get this neutral switch to work, but now <laughs> seems like it's actually, yeah. You know, at least I can start it. Now. Weird.
shifting is a pain. I really understand why the belt drive took over. This uh, manual shifting is not any good, I think. All right, uh, the shifting, it was not as bad when I could use both hands and uh, really concentrate on the shifting and uh, without any water up there. Uh, maybe, I don't know if that made the difference. That is the end of this uh, Yamaha Big Bear 350 service. It's from 1998, so it's only two years older than my Honda Rancher, but the Honda feels so much more modern but i think that was the first year of the honda rancher and this was yeah, i think it was it was some uh, like the last year maybe 99 was the last year and then they came with the 400 and uh, the uh, automatic belt drive stuff like that which i think will make it better it's a really sturdy machine everything is really like heavy duty uh with these plates and everything so it will probably last forever but i still prefer the the rancher before this one happy oh. happy owner happy owner Clark. Payment. Det går ju skit bra. Ja, ja men det, det är ett frimärke emellan. The beer is now cold. It's a super warm summer day. We haven't had rain in a long time, but tomorrow we will get some. So cheers to that and thanks for watching my videos. Bye. I guess my floor won't rust anytime soon.